Is it okay to knock on the phone? Yes. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Today is Friday, August the 30th. All month long, we've been celebrating National Black Business Month. Thank you to all of those that joined us on Facebook, that joined us on this journey. I'm here with DJ CEO, In Touch News, In Touch News Radio. Radio. Your host, Let's Talk Business with SJ. We are we are excited. We are we are excited. And I want to say thank you to those of you who are tuning in. This is a call in show. You're welcome to to call in and hear about our fabulous guest that's here today. Oh, I'm so excited. She is an artist. And uh, in a moment, you'll be able to see a beautiful piece that she has rendered. And our guest that's joining us today is Ms. Bernice Smith. And you'll hear more about her. She is going to be one of the business owners that will be at the Power of 31 on tomorrow as National Black Business culminates with over 31 businesses on the campus of 5508 Coworking and Collaborative Exchange. There's a lot going on. I was looking at some of the Facebook posts. There's so many businesses that are unique where we can come as a community and support these business owners with spending $31 or more. And it's the community's way of celebrating National Black Business Month. 31 ways, 31 days, spend $31 your way. On our last show, I was just surprised that DJ CEO put out an offer, a phenomenal offer for business owners to advertise in In Touch News. Some of you have already started reaching out to him, but you know what? Let's just fill the pages with business cards. We shouted out over 31 businesses as we were e-blasting them on Facebook, letting the community know who's going to be in the house tomorrow. But it continues beyond tomorrow. Your business doors must remain open beyond tomorrow. So he's giving you an opportunity when you come tomorrow on the campus of 5508, as you come into the breezeway between the two buildings, building one and two, you will find on your immediate left in touch news office. And that's where you'll be able to come with your business card. He may prefer digital, but he did say you can bring your business card, but he's right here in the studio. So he'll be able to answer that question for us. Bring your card and $31 and check this out. Even if you don't have $31 in cash, he, he's cash king. He takes the cash out. He takes PayPal. If there's a method out there, he is already hooked up and hooked in. And I thought, what a phenomenal offer. But it didn't start with DJ CEO and it's not going to stop with DJ CEO because you heard Aldiva say that she will have outfits on display for $31. There are other professionals who've put together packages for you, the community, for $31. And then there's going to be a beautiful piece of art. Yes, it will go for more than $31. That you will be able to see the artist as she renders the finishing touches of a live portrait as i have heard people say we try not to say it in toast masters but without further ado allow me to introduce to so many of you because she's not a floridian and i hope she's going to love us after this weekend <laughs> so she's probably like what am i doing down here a hurricane but all is good and so everyone that's in the in the track of it we are certainly praying for you and your family and your safety um as dorian comes through and, and tries to, to to do what she wants to do now 
in the studio. I'm paying my I got to pan my phone around so that y'all can see this beautiful artist, Bernice Smith. Miss Smith. Hi, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. actually I'm great. Thank you. Thank you so much for asking. Welcome to Let's Talk Business with SJC. <laughs> Thank you for having me. We are excited to have you. <laughs> you know, you you I I got to see um some of your work and shout out to Jeanette Diva J. Hort Smith for introducing us and um, and wanting you to be a part of the Power of 31 and the celebration of National Black Business Month. And I'm telling you, just a minute ago I, I saw the beautiful flower and, and I immediately thought um about Diana Ross and, and Lady Sings the 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 blues and, and Billy D. Williams. Mm -hmm. And so we, we have a business that we're going to be shouting out later on in the show. And last night when I was looking at the different businesses and I thought, wow, we've got a rap company. We've got a business that specializes in rap. And I'm a, I'm a girl that loves to rap. Mm -hmm. And so um, usually I do it on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but I decided to rap today. And then there you are with adorning this, this beautiful um, baby blue rose in your <laughs> beautiful, natural um, black hair. Love it, Thank love you. it, love it. So, girl, who are you and where are you from? Well, as you all know, I am not a Florida <laughs> native. <laughs> I've been in Florida for a year now, okay. but I am originally from Chicago, born and raised. So, oh my goodness. shout outs to the Windy City. Um, <laughs> I, I literally grew up in Chicago. I am the oldest of three. Okay. I have a brother and a sister. And my mother uh, was a single mom, and she raised us as best as she could. We moved around a lot in Chicago, so okay. I wasn't in one place very long. And as for it, I it blossomed into my artistry. <laughs> it ran into my it ran in my family, but on my father's side, and it definitely has been a generational trait. My okay. father had it. My uh, grandmother on his side also had it the only difference between me and them is that none of them actually stepped out on that oh. gift so I feel that that was one generational mistake that I was born I feel like that I was born to correct okay. was to take this gift and actually utilize it and not just let it pass down to someone mm. else and it is a gift and and we will um for oh my gosh what a perfect view so oh you're the bomb <laughs> you're, you're the bomb i thought i did that <laughs> for those of you listen you've got to go to in touch in touch news and you will be able to view all of us and this beautiful beautiful painting and we'll have her explain the the painting to us, but long before she she gets to that. So there you are, Chicago native, and you're here in in Florida. You've been blessed with um, with an amazing gift, and, and yes, it is a gift. I, I can't even draw a, a, a stick person. Or that's probably <laughs> the best that I can do. And I, I almost felt like a minority because I married an artist. And and oh. when I he doesn't paint and, and sell paintings, but he's a, he's an artist and DJ CEO. When um, we were dating, he painted this beautiful portrait of me, just absolutely beautiful. And I was in love with him did right you, then. Did you hang it on the wall? Yeah, 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 we, yeah, we did. But here's the thing. So years later, I said, oh, honey, would you do me another one? And he said, oh, I know you now. You might not like the way that portrait looks. <laughs> 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 and I was like, oh, my God. Oh, I'm also married to a comedian. Oh, <laughs> but I was like, well, needless to say, I never got another portrait painted. So I'm going to have to hold on to that one. That one will have to be an heir, heirloom. That's mm -hmm. good, though. But, but it is. And so he would do paintings. and um, But he is more of a graphic artist. And that's kind of like the, the direction that he went into. But all of, our, all of our children have that artistic talent. Now, I'm creative. Mm -hmm. I just can't draw. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't even try. Now you sound like my sister. My sister is actually very creative. She's, I would say she's more of the organized one. I, I can bring the talent, but she can bring the organization. I 
she's like my sh- my other half so if i had that ability to be able to organize mm-hmm. my art and events she's the person that i check through before i go anywhere there you go see that would be me in, in our tag team uh, marriage that would that would be me so you you've um dabbed into it recognized that it was your gift but when you and i were speaking long before you started to walk out on faith with your artistic gifts and talents you were doing something else creative nonetheless share share with our audience a little bit about where you spent what a decade or two or more Almost about a decade. Um, it can't be two because you don't look old. Oh enough no, to be, okay, <laughs> I'm forever young. I'll leave oh, it at yes. that. <laughs> In this studio, we either 24 or 28. Thank you. I'll keep it at that. Um, <laughs> no, before I actually went to culinary school, actually, if Whoa. we bring it even a uh, step backwards, I was actually you cook too. Yes, Whoa! Watch out. I went. I went to culinary school, but before that, I was actually in fashion design school. So that was my first my attempt to actually try to take my art somewhere. And at the time, I wasn't, especially at a young age, I was very highly susceptible of others around me in the environment that I grew up in. And unfortunately, I had allowed at that age to people to dictate to me how my Mm. life should be. And I realize now that it was just them projecting their fears of what they weren't able to do in their own lives and what they think was helping me was actually hindering me. And I didn't get the chance to step out in the way that I really wanted to. So I tried with fashion design school and actually really excelled in it. But life happened and unfortunately I had to go straight into the workforce. So I was working in the hospitality industry. Okay. And I was in there for a while and I also excelled in it. And I just told myself, well, maybe this is another compromise. I can still be able to express myself, but I'm using it through food. Grandma, Sunday, is, I feel like, okay, I'm still doing that in some way. And when I tried to excel at it, I was met with a lot of blockages. And people told me that I couldn't excel to a manager or a chef's position without a degree. So then I went oh, to school wow. to go get the degree. You cannot tell me what I'm not going to do. And I'm, I'm like, okay, bet. So then there I went go. to school and I went there for two years, graduated. And then I was accepted into a culinary apprenticeship. Congratulations. And that was the found that was the finding moment for me, that defining moment that really got me out of Chicago because I knew I couldn't be there. I realized at that point while I was in culinary school and I prayed, I literally said, God, give me a way out of here. Mm-hmm. I know I'm not meant to be here. You open the door. I may not run that fast because you know how I'm, I'm set right now. <laughs> but I will trottle, roll, skip, and maybe do a half flip out that door. So <laughs> he awesome. opened that door for me and I left. And I was cooking and traveling ever since. And it was great. But then I was met with other blockages and life again had hit me again. And I realized I didn't have a love for it. I said, I don't love this. And I realized that I never really loved it to begin with. I was compromising. Mm. You have learned a lot. I have. This has been this this year in Florida has been a lot of self-reflecting for me. Okay. And. I wind up finding out about the program that I am is called the Young Adult Missional Movement, a.k.a. YAM. And I learned about it through a former friend of mine, and she told me about it. And I signed up for it. I said, okay, God, I pray for it. I literally pray for this, and you're giving me a way Mm -hmm. out. And what really happened is I had a dream. I wasn't going to do the YAM program at first, but I had a dream that I was in shackles and chains. My goodness. And I kept having that feeling of being weighed down. And I was going through a lot. I actually had a death in the family that summer. And I was literally at my lowest and dealing with a very harsh work environment also. And I just couldn't. I was literally either one foot in the grave and one barely even hanging on to life. And I... When that dream happened after I uh, saw the dream three times and it was something my grandma installed in me. If you see something in threes, I need you to pay attention. So rest of soul. You hold that thought Mm -hmm. and we're going to break for a commercial. Thank you all for for tuning in to Let's Talk Business with SJC. I'm here with Bernie Smith and CEO, DJ CEO. We'll be back after the break. (laughs) 
My name is Gil Sampson. I didn't come from a very rich family, and so paying for college would have been very tough. I don't know if I would have been able to go to the college that I went to, and then I don't know if I would have gotten into the career that I am in. So I think Bright Futures has done a lot. States. Because of Bright Futures, I was able to go to college. You know, so many kids just don't even ever get that opportunity. And to be able to do it and not have any debt when I graduated is amazing. And it was all thanks to Bright Futures. Florida has created more than one million jobs in only five years, and a great education connects our students to these exciting opportunities. That's why the Florida Lottery has funded Bright Futures scholarships to help over 725,000 students attend college. Because every play is for education. The Florida Lottery. Just imagine. Call Ricky Ricky. Ask Ricky Ricky. You need medical or a lawyer. I got the man to do the leg work for you. You tried to love the ones before, so believe me. Find it now. April 3, 248 Everything gonna be okay, Call Ricky. He coming. He take the kids instead of Florida. Grab a pen and sit down. 1 8 4 3 6 1 Rick. That's one eight four three six seven four two five. Never word from the point four. Just reply. Just ask Ricky. Plus your boy stay by. Just in case you missed it, I'ma tell you one more time. One eight four three six one Rick. Call oh, Ricky. Ask Ricky. The legal medical referral service. The doctors and lawyers in our network are trained in handling auto injury claims, giving you the best medical treatment and recovery. Now one eight four four three six one Rick. That's one eight four four three six one seven four two five. Oh, Ricky. Ricky. And we are back. Speaking of the Power of 31 National Black Business Month, we're here in the studio with DJ CEO. They are one of our media sponsors. In addition to that, we have support from the Caspers Company. We have support. We heard the commercial. For those of you that are tuning in live, you heard the call. Ricky Ask Ricky, just a phenomenal business owner, community supporter. For those of you that are here, thank you so much for tuning in on Facebook. We also have support from the Aerial Business Group, long-term partner and friend. We have support from Tampa Bay BBIC. All of them will be represented in the house on tomorrow, 1131. There's a reason we do the show at 1231. It's called The Power of 31. What's up, DJ CEO? Our African colors. Yes, but the those goal, are our colors for tomorrow. The gold that I used, face. I used a molding paste to make honeycombs. Yes. So it was dripping honey on the actual uh, fist, fist pieces. Yeah. Because unity is golden. Sweet. <laughs> and I painted her blue because blue is a uh, a color piece. So. Okay. Regardless of what is around her, so long as she is grounded, she is at peace. And Love yellow, that. Mm-hmm. yellow um, with her outfit. Honestly, I was thinking of Beyonce's lemonade, so I, <laughs> that's why I made it yellow. And I wanted the different African pieces 
a fabric for her hair. Mm -hmm. I really like that, and I always wanted one for myself, and I eventually will get one. Okay. And the fro, obviously, her hair is really curly because I know a lot of people that are with my hair texture. I have very loose curls, so her curls are actually a little more loose. Okay. And obviously the pick because yeah, I used yeah, to yeah, walk yeah. around with a pick in my head, <laughs> and it came with the package, the uh, the fro the culture package. When you actually ordered the whole set, there was a golden uh, hair pick that went inside, so I included that in that piece. Okay, so now the fro the culture, fro the culture. is how, how that's a Chicago thing. Oh no, fro the culture is the main choice. That was the line that. They came up with, and that was their oh, slogan. And I, that. we, you know, you look, Chicago. No, no, oh, I'm from Chicago, but yeah, it, it wasn't. It, it a, wasn't Chicago. Oh, no, okay. it was a Chicago. It was from that particular from hair the, brand, and yeah. it was to pay. I actually, when I was done with it, I took a picture of it and tagged them in it and said, "Thank you for coming out with this line." It is, and I love that line very much. So, so could I go I to go like online. a Sally's or something, something like? Uh, um, you can find it online. They they are online. now in Walmart and okay. in Walgreens. Awesome. Um, I just recently also found them in Publix, which I would have never Whoa. thought Whoa. that they were. They just expanded it's into Publix. Throw the culture. Throw the culture wow. by Main Choice. By Main Choice. Oh, that's what we need. Main Choice. M A N E. M A yes, M A N E. Okay. Okay. Fantastic. I, I I actually took my camera over towards the picture so that um, you all could could see it as she was describing, and I was talking to you when you first brought it in. I could see the 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 vibrant colors and the the three dimensional uh, what would you call them? Well, I didn't want it to be a one dimensional piece, and I definitely wanted the background to have texture because bottom line our hair is textured yes, so that's why is. i definitely made sure that the background had texture to it mm -hmm. and i just wanted it to not just be just so bland like i want your eyes to just move all over the place like oh well, it makes you kind of want to touch it and like oh there's this feels like honeycomb oh this ground oh this goodness. background is it's, it's almost like sandish and like i want you to have an experience when you look at this piece well wow. I did. And one of the things I love that you said, because I, I like to braid my hair back. And so when we were young or growing up, it was called nappy hair. Well, now we understand that those were just um, tight curls, mm -hmm. coils or curls, or some of the girls had the, the, the looser, longer coils. Because if you pull my hair, it'll spring and bounce back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, unless you have a little... um. Uh, wax and 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 a, a curling iron you can press it or oh, the magic blue with some water <laughs> and then you just comb it right through and then maybe oh. your curls will actually stay oh no i needed more than magic blue oh magic I, blue I, grease I, and water that's what i had to use for my hair <laughs> growing oh, up oh, we had something called royal crown royal crown <laughs> so, i do remember you remember that, that? Oh, I, I used to use pink <laughs> lotion also growing up. That okay, was another staple. Okay, I had to use. Re remember, remember a little bit about the the pink lotion. Mm -hmm. But your description of the picture brought the picture to life, mm -hmm. and that's what made it so livable. Mm -hmm. You think back to a show we watched years ago, DJ CEO called In Living Color. Oh yeah. And the the art, the artistry, and the the pictures and, and things that they showed on there was was representative of all of these colors mm -hmm. and the the hues that you're describing here. And I, I love that fist. Yes, you're you're talking about a honeycomb. You're talking about beauty. We can see the beauty in her, but I also see the strength coming mm -hmm. through that canvas as 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 well. And that's another. That's why I also put two fists because the fist also represents the man and the woman. When we are unified, Ooh. we are golden. Mm -hmm. So okay. it was that was another reason why I put the two fists there. I could have just stayed with one, but I said no. We we are two. two we are meant to uh, work in unison together, and I didn't want to continue that divide. It's not black men versus black women. No, we need to be unified. Beautiful, Absolutely. beautiful. Well, speaking of that, and speaking of why you have the the two fists and this, the story behind it, takes us to the power couples balls. And so part of what they do at the ball, having been a guest um, at the ball, is to focus on that unity of one. And, and I'll let DJ CEO um, explain about that, because even though August we're celebrating National Black Business Month, come September, God, we got to figure out a way to put a piece of her... her
I wanted to do something worthwhile for my birthday. You're going to love it. Yes. And you'll meet a lot of interesting people. Um, People in the community. We got the movers and shakers. That's right. And people who can appreciate your beautiful art. art. (laughs) And so tell us a little bit about you are going to be at the Power of 31 tomorrow here on this campus in the garage. And you are going to be painting, right? I will be painting. It will be a 20 by 24 piece. And the piece is called. That's a large piece. That's pretty. um, Yeah, that's huge. It's called Stay Rooted. Stay Rooted. Oh, Stay Rooted. Okay. I love your Afrocentric history (laughs) that you're pulling out into your art. I've come to love that part of myself. That's good. It's a a disservice to me not to implement that Mm -hmm. in everything that I do because it took me a while to come to love that and that's why I don't I don't flat iron my hair anymore right. and I rarely wear a weave anymore like I used to younger and now that I'm older and I've come to really love myself I wouldn't there would be no other way that's why I feel that this piece staying rooted is so important staying um, rooted yes uh, okay. this piece um, if I'm going to describe it a little bit <laughs> It is a piece that will incorporate um, a woman, a black woman, and the two sides of her. Oh. Um, there's the trailblazer side, the yes, the side that is the doing that goes, that's going out there. You're conquering the world mm-hmm. and your business and everything in life, and that's a lot of us. Shout out to us for doing that. Yes. And then there's the side of us that's the sensual, that's the spiritual, and it's making sure to balance both aspects of ourselves so because this is a business black um honoring black yes, businesses yes. i wanted this piece to have a lesson behind it as a reminder of keeping rooted within yourself but balancing those two aspects of yourself as you continue to grow oh my goodness so you've given us a snippet into so yeah. so when you're starting to paint you already have some idea of how that image is going to materialize uh, yes. So when people speak to me and tell me about events in my head, it's a blank canvas and okay. I'm, it's already painted and drawn in my head. It's just about putting it on a canvas. Wow. I love it. I love it. And so that piece, we're actually going to see you do your, your live demonstration. Yes. The piece that we just finished talking about is what's going to be auctioned yes. off. Um, to some blessed viewer yes and then the the live piece will also be auctioned off yes. as well I'm oh all two my pieces. goodness can you can you do that uh 100 100 100 uh, can you be a, can you be our auctioneer <laughs> look, tomorrow look, look, i can try i can try <laughs> I hear, look, I hear i'm music. not afraid to try <laughs> see i like that see you're speaking to that side of him right. as you talk about the 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 woman and the strong piece of the woman but we hear the music coming so we are going to break for commercial and come back so thank you all for tuning in back in a moment Junior, your motivational guru. This is the DLD Motivational Moment. One darn second. America since 2017 is suffering from a serious hiccup. 9-11 is seriously overused in a distasteful manner. Every day the cops are calling on an innocent, innocent person of color. It amazes me that America has come down to this. A person of color becomes a person of interest. Waffle House, the dorms, Starbucks is a few. This is not the lunch counters, sit-ins of the 1960s. 2019, harassed simply for being black and proud. Hold on one darn second. This has been the DLD Motivational Moment. Pre-order my new book, Motivational Moments, at DLD28-2002 at yahoo.com or 813-394-5875. Hey, this is Agent Wright, better known as Mr. Clean. You looking for some great barbecues? Come see them two brothers in the grill. Located at 423 Virginia Street, Charleston, West Virginia. We got ribs, chicken, pulled pork, brisket, collard greens, mac and cheese, baby. Come get some and get you a nice, smooth cigar. 304-550-4431. That is 304-550-4431. Come get some, baby. The rib man, mama, the rib man. Hi, this is Dale Day. Join me every Monday at 7 p.m. for Jazz at Miss Connie's House, bringing you the smoothest jazz and the coolest guests. 
right here on In Touch Radio. And we are back. Yes, it's Let's Talk Business with SJC. I'm here today with our special guest, Miss Bernice Smith. She has such a beautiful smile. <laughs> Thank you. DJ, you are welcome. DJ CEO. CEO and I have been celebrating National Black Business Month all month long, and we have shouted out so many businesses. There are 30 days, and today it's not the end, but we're culminating the end of the month that is used to celebrate National Black Black Business Month. But as we said on Wednesday's show, we as a people, we as a culture should celebrate our Black-owned businesses every month. We, we need the support in order for our businesses to stay viable. Absolutely. And circulating your dollars in the community is what's going to make it happen. So we can have people like you come here and showcase your, your beautiful art. This is the perfect place to come for your open house. And you'll be able to display all of your other beautiful arts. And this is a time for us. We're bringing awareness because we need to just do it. Yeah, we do. We, we, we need to spend do. money right here with each in other. our communities with each other. A- absolutely. No matter where you are. So uh, I'm noticing on your on your painting um, the the real necklace and the real earring. Oh yeah. Tell Three me about it. Real, real. Okay, so I love to work in collaboration with another person. How can I, again, take this to the next level? And I happen to work with uh, a woman named Charlene. And at the time, she was selling paparazzi. Okay, jewelry. She told me about it, and I was like, oh, okay, cool. Let me buy, like, five of them off of you. And I incorporated one of her sets in my piece and when I posted it oh online I made sure to tag her in it because again I did get this from her and it's a way of if I elevate myself then I should be able to elevate Bring another person. someone else with you. Very good. It Very just good. doesn't get yeah. any better than that. You no, know no. this is 5508 co-working and collaborative exchange. That's the name of this campus. Wow. Yes, yes. ma'am. So you yes, fit ma'am. Right you in. have you have aligned <laughs> right in with yeah, us. Yeah, you fit right okay, in. What, what, yes, what we're doing here on this radio station, mm-hmm. collaborating, mm-hmm. collaborating all month long. Actually, every day, every day. It's a way of life for us. It is. Yes. Um, I'm speechless. You're speechless. <laughs> right. I really so am. Fair. I the first time I was actually out here. There was a, it was my very first vending event. It was with Angie. Who's yes. Right. Okay. Um, she had a venerable event in a courtyard and it was my very first one. And I told her, this is my very first one. And she was really patient with me because I it would took a little minute to actually get the mm-hmm. feed to her. But mm-hmm. to have this place as the, my very first stepping stone where I actually took the next Beautiful. step with my art and then to come back again, I feel like I just came full circle again. That's Good. a beautiful first. You got your first start with your first showing and that was um accent styles boutique Mm -hmm. angie angie was on the show just a couple of weeks ago as well and and she has one of our favorite shops out here and so we love it she has she has done some things for for all of us and and dressed us and as a matter of fact one of the outfits um i wore in february was at your event oh yeah, it was at the sweethearts uh the sweethearts gathering right here yeah the valentine's day affair and so shout out to to my son Yannick. He was my date. He had flown in. <laughs> and so but I love that. And and that's the message that we are sharing with the community, how we can just all work together. You mentioned even shouting out the person that inspired you in order to be able to to do the art. You've got a piece of another woman's product, her business on your art. So wherever this art goes, not only is there a story, Someone real jewelry. Has, yes. That's real. Mm-hmm. Girl, you are the bomb. <laughs> you are the bomb. We we appreciate you. We appreciate that. Now, I, I have a couple of questions for you, and I want to make sure we, we cover this because mm-hmm. we, we've heard DJ CEO, CEO talk about that beautiful picture. You talked about at the beginning what inspired you in that beautiful creation with your blank canvas and, and all that you have been inspired to do when you began to paint and, and create, what, what kind of paint is that on, on the canvas? Well, it's acrylic. It's acrylic? It's acrylic. 
So it's it's all acrylic, and then the other enhancements are just a natural element of um, the what yes, the jewelry. Yes, they have. Uh, I use molding paste also. Oh, okay. Um, acrylic. I honestly, whatever I can use that works well with acrylic, like there's additives. Okay. Um, like such as molding paste. There's gloss. There's gloss gel. There's it's a lot going on. Is that why some pieces it just pops because yes. we can see the we can see fro the culture, mm-hmm. which we didn't know that at the time. I read that and I thought you were missing a letter almost. Oh <laughs> so, no, it was. But that's definitely coming from put, the Afro. Yes. Okay, fro the culture, and and all of our culture is depicted in all of, all of those beautiful colors. So how would someone get in touch with you? Well, yes. Yeah, so you can get in contact with me through social media okay. at the. At the moment, my website actually will be officially launching awesome. at the end of October. Awesome. But Congratulations. Then, thank you. <laughs> until You're then, welcome. you can reach me at Soul Tribe Vibes Ooh, at yahoo.com. So it's Soul Tribe, S O U L Tribe, T R I B E, Vibes, V I B E S, at yahoo.com. Or you can honestly contact me directly by phone. And oh. my number, I have no problem putting it out there, is 773-616-1301. Is that Houston? Okay. Oh, no, that's Chicago. 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 Come on now, she put some respect okay, on the Windy okay, City. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. okay, okay. So I seven, you know she here. got fists, fists over here. <laughs> she she <laughs> likes <laughs> to paint fists. They work in well, pairs you know, I, got <laughs> I got a whole lot of family up there in Chicago. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I do, too. Uh-oh. 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 All right. Uh-oh. End it right there. Yeah, <laughs> so look, so, look, so look. she might have a little more to you, DJ CEO. So so we had we have a way... Um, so you're here in this in this beautiful in our beautiful state in the in the beautiful city of of Tampa and I know you've seen a lot. Have you had a chance to tour our beaches? Not yet. Oh my goodness! Talk I've about inspiration. Very, I've been a very busy woman. <laughs> so looking at this beautiful picture here, Fro the Culture. How long did it take for you to paint? Um, I had to prep the canvas first. So okay. the background that you see actually was molding paste to make it have oh. that texture background. So that took a day because once it's on there, it needed almost a day because I put so much on there for it to dry. And so then what, what is that textured application like? Is it is it the paste that you're molding to the canvas? Oh, it's already, it comes in a jar and you basically, it's almost like uh, how people scrape out concrete. Oh, okay. So you, I just took one of those, uh, those knives. Spatula I don't. Thing. Uh, okay. Yes, it's like a spatula or knife, and I just spread it across, and I let it sit. Oh my and God. then so the that very sits next day, day, yes, and then the very next day, that's exactly when I started painting it. Oh my goodness! And all of this stuff just comes together. And I saw the term B. So you prefer to be called B? Yes. Okay, Miss B. Thank you. What makes what do you think or what do you believe makes your art different from other artists? And are you in a particular art genre? Not really. Um, I feel what makes my art stick out is because everything has a meaning behind oh, it, beautiful. even down to the colors that I use and where I place the colors. I'm all about everything having a purpose. Awesome. And it's why I it's one of my slogans, art with a purpose. Art with a purpose. Um, there should that be goes more beyond just, painting with oh, a purpose. Yes. It's art with a purpose. Yes, I <laughs> want it to not just be this beautiful, colorful piece, but to also you can understand the color meaning behind it and why I place the colors where mm, I place them. That's so important. you can connect more with the piece. And again, it's about creating that experience with my pieces. So, and I, we're looking at it, and uh, Daryl saw some things that I didn't even see. And, and that's the thing about art. It makes you go back t- and yeah. you look again and you look again. And again, it's- Every time you look at this, and I'm certain that every time I look at this painting, I'm going to, it's going to reveal, reveal something new to me. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I don't have, how long have you been painting? I took this seriously um, for a year. For a year. Oh my I walked away from my art at a very young age, and I, that was over a decade ago that I didn't do art, and I just recently got back into it seriously a year ago okay. when I walked away from everything that I knew to pursue what I knew God wanted me to do. 
what you have shared with us, the art has been with you all along. Yes. From from culinary, the the whole all, that's an art. That's mm-hmm. an art form. Fashion, fashion in and of itself, from the designs to the fabrics and making them and selections of colors and textures, art. So whether you made a design, designed an outfit, mm-hmm. couture designs, it doesn't even matter. It began still with a blank with, canvas. Exactly. You've been painting all along, B. Yes. God took me from that. He said, you're not compromising anymore. Awesome. And it took for a woman that I met, uh, Dr. Make sure I, I say Dr. Melita Harris Barrow. Okay. 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 <laughs> she actually wrote a book. It was called um, Ev- Unveiling the Illusion, Know Who You Are. Wow. That sounds like a book I and want to read. That. I would highly recommend that book to Give us that anyone. title again. Um, Unveiling the Illusion, Know Who You Are. And when I read that book, it made sense to me why I was coming back to art. Mm-hmm. And she has been such an inspiration to con- help me to continue to move forward. And from her planting that seed, I met another person, Cassandra Hector, who's been like the gardener over me, like um, another mom who's been pouring onto that seed and has helped me take this into a business and be serious about it and has basically been on me every step of the way <laughs> to get to this point. Mm-hmm. It takes all of us. It takes it, a village. So to have those and for God to have put the, the individuals that you're speaking of and who are speaking on and about and supporting you and we all need mentors. Yes. It, it never stops. And so there's always something challenging for us to do and that's just life. Life brings us, um, ebb, it ebbs and flows. You have mountains and you have valleys. Mm-hmm. But as you find that you're coming out of each one of them you find a new person and you have a new joy a new spirit and you can move on to whatever that purpose is that god has for you and the trajectory of in which your life will will change and grow so as we hear the music we are now coming to the last quarter hour of our show so we get to say, I'm going to say this because I want to spend the, the last quarter hour shouting out our black businesses. And because this is a show that's all up in your business today, you're going to be all up in SJC's business. And so with that, we'll see you back after the commercial break. Ray Williams Funeral Home. Providing the highest quality, professional, and caring service for your family. Call Jeffrey Rhodes at 813-253-3419. That's 813-253-3419. Or visit him at 301 North Howard Avenue, Tampa, Florida. Ray Williams Funeral Home. For the finest care and quality service. This is Trina Johnson with Caldwell Banker Real Estate, the real estate agent you've been looking for. If you want top dollar for your home or you're looking to make a purchase, call me at 813-244-6953. Again, 813-244-6953 and let me list your home. And we are back. So for this last hour, let me take the opportunity to to say thank you. We've worn you out, (laughs) but you've answered all of our questions and you've shared so much with us about art and art in itself and how you're able to create this beautiful art on a plain canvas. Can I ask her one question before you go? Of course you can. How do you tie food, fashion, (laughs) and art into one? Well, it's like any medium. Uh, When you're doing art, let's just say with drawing, there's different types of medium, watercolor, gouge, uh, acrylic. So I list those different things that I did as just other mediums that I use to express myself. Art is about expression. So those were other avenues that I used to compromise my expression. But in the end, I just came back full circle to back to my art. 
So you don't see yourself tying in all the... Oh, I already uh, have. You already have. Okay. okay. Um, the place that I work now is uh, Cornerstone Family Ministries. Okay. And they awesome. have a community garden. And from there, I do cooking experience with kids. That's what's Love So it. that yeah. they know where their food is coming from and teach them okay. the basis. So... I know I wasn't. It wasn't a waste of time. God didn't put me there to now just. No, this is another <laughs> okay. skill. He, okay. he knew it was time. I'm taking you out. You learned what you need to learn. Now it's time to actually put it to use the way he wanted Ooh, me to use it. Very good. Maybe you can help us put a community garden together out here. Oh yes, ma'am, and I actually know some contacts. So. Oh my goodness, this conversation is exciting. <laughs> so I want to take this opportunity to say thank you, thank you so much, B, for coming and sharing with us. We are better because of what you, <laughs> what you said to us, what you've allowed us to see, and we can see that spiritual, natural, beautiful, radiant, and this this smile we're looking at. It's <laughs> it's you. evident. You bring life on on that canvas. You really do. Life and was given to me. Life was given, to, given to, to all of us. So I'm just giving, I'm just keeping that process going. All right. And so we're going to give you a chance to take a break. <laughs> and so we want to say thank you to um, our Facebook family and to our listeners who are listening. By the way, B, this video is streaming live on YouTube. It will also, it's also on um, Facebook. It's streaming live on Facebook and it's also on YouTube. So this video is your Chicago friends will be able to see you and people all over the world will be able to see you. And so I listened to B talk about the, the beautiful fists and the importance of the two fists coming together. This is a show that has been about the who, the what, the when, and the where. And you have shared that with us. I didn't know how I was going to get through the show today, but I am <laughs> so glad you are my guest. Because t this morning was, was a tough morning. But what we want to do first is shout out our, our 30 businesses. So there is the Code Correctors, Jackie Lynch Studios, Rap, Icico, and that's where I got the idea to, to rap today. Dio Broto Photography, Matthew Young, that's a part of Florida Real Estate Associates. Andrew Ware, the Art of Realty Group, one of our friends and collaborators. Ray Hendricks, you met him, many of you right Real here. Real Estate Ray. Real Estate <laughs> Ray. April S. Dorn, and some of these people we're calling out will be on the campus tomorrow. Exclusively yours. Health Matters Community Pharmacy. She's been out here a number of times. Tampa Bay Windows, LLC. DeBear Trucking, right here on the 5508 campus. The Style Lab, another designer. Rick Rollins, right here on the campus. One of our collaborators who's, who's gone on to a much, much bigger building. Shout out to the, the Buyer's Point. Hello, all of our friends at the Nail Gallery. Streets and Streets photographer will be here, DJ CEO, tomorrow doing headshots. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Four of them for $31. The Wright, and that's W-R-I-T-E, type design studio. Also one of our collaborates and friends, Troops and Treatment, um, Artesia Williams. She, too, is going to be here. And we want to take this time out to shout out all of the collaborates at 5508. And we have over 30 collaborates who are housed right here on the campus of 5508. And we just happen to be in Suite 2 is DSI Black Pages, <laughs> Cuso and Associates. We have Echelon Computers. We have here the weatherization, which is one of the arms of the SAP group. A nonprofit, yes, you can. Right here, right here. Rent to own, auto, yes, all of that right here. This guy will find you a great automobile. Healthcare Support, LLC. One of my favorite switching up styles, and we've already <laughs> talked about Accent Styles Boutique. Mm -hmm. We have um, also we have um, it's another nonprofit, and it's Grace for Hope. Out here, we mentioned the Style Lab already. 
the Black Business Investment Business Suite, we mentioned them, Tampa Bay BBIC. Tampa Caribbean Festival, they have been rocking some amazing concerts here on the courtyard. Last weekend, they're back here on Sunday. Come and check them out. We already talked about In Touch News. We have them here. There are just so many other businesses, health resources, um, and education, kingdom pest control, stomp those bugs right out mm. of your home and your business. Um, we have Med Waiver here. We have um, Fresh Start. It's a construction company, Fresh Start Development. All of these businesses that are here, and we are going to tag them so that you will learn about all of them when we do our thank you posts. And I want to say to our thank you family, thank you for tuning in and taking your lunch break. I mentioned at the, at the beginning that um, I'm so glad you were here. You cheered me up. <laughs> I'm going to tell you a story about two young men. About 50 years ago, they became friends, very, very good friends. And I remember, and some of you will remember him as well, we're shouting out black-owned businesses, and he was the owner of Kemp Pole School of Karate. Had that shop on Nebraska Avenue in a little strip mall for many, many years. And I had the pleasure of, of knowing this young man, and he had the school trained the good guys mm -hmm. and the bad guys. And the bad guys. I mean, there were days DJ CEO uh, police officers would be in there learning mm -hmm. Kempo karate. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, mm -hmm. <laughs> some of the same people that they were looking for <laughs> was Go in there <laughs> learning <laughs> to do the same thing. Wow. And so because um, he and my husband were, were such great, great, great friends, and um, they, they did a lot. They loved the nightlife. My husband owned a club, and he did the security for the club. He was a security for so many stars, and, and we got to meet some of them. Absolutely. And he played um, cameo roles in, in, in a number of films and even got my husband a, a part in, in, in one of the films. And so one day I had our youngest son at the school, and I said, um, hmm, I want to learn karate. And he said, you don't want to learn karate. You this little prissy thing. And I said, look, I'm from College Hill. <laughs> I want to learn karate. I said, I want to learn how to break a board, oh, and man. I want to learn how to fight. I want to take somebody out. And he said, that's not what this is all about. <laughs> but we can teach you self-defense. So when you think about Kempo karate, it's the art of a strong fist. So when I saw the fist in your painting, nobody better not outbid me on that painting. <laughs> I immediately <laughs> thought about our dear, dear friend. And so I said to my husband, I want to take the class with my son. My son was progressing along in the class. And he was mm -hmm. only six years old. Mm -hmm. And I saw all of these kids of, of all colors. He had in his studio all of the different belt colors. And, and, and you could see them on this graduated scale. Mm -hmm. And I was like, black belt. This guy had reached the highest pinnacle in any of the karates from judo all, all, all the way up. Mm -hmm. Multiple black belt degrees. And so he allowed me to come into the class. And so well, I had it going on. Mm. I was fighting and I said, okay, I want the brown belt because the kids had their white belts and the yellow belts and I just wanted to be different. <laughs> so he said, I've got to toughen you up. So I was like, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm I want to bust that <laughs> board <get> open. <laughs> and I want to just, whoo! <laughs> and so he did. And so we went through our drills and our exercises. And he said, okay, we can go ahead and schedule you so that you'll be ready to, to fight so that you could get your brown belt. DJ CEO, he came over there to me with that punch. He said, are you ready? He'd already ready. taught me to breathe and how to right. hold my stomach. Right. And man, it was like a sucker punch in my gut. He got you. He got, he you. got me. My body just kind of went over. <laughs> it didn't hit the floor. Okay. And he said, okay, we just got to build you up a little more so when I punch you the next time, you'll stand strong yeah. and erect. And so about a week later, I wasn't feeling so good. <laughs> mm. okay, Had nothing so no. to do with, with the class. But I later learned that I was pregnant with our, our youngest son. Wow. And as a result of that, um, I remember my husband, and, and we call him the, the Rat Pack. So I had a, a, a beautiful ba bouncing baby boy. 
and they all wanted us to name our son after one of them. Right. Romeo Cole Jr., the late Romeo Cole Jr. Antonio Hines, we call him Tony Hines. Okay. And Nathan V. McCullough. My husband played around with the names, and my husband had decided to name our son because he was a, an avid tennis player, Yannick, after Yannick Noor. Okay. And I, I was with the Yannick. I said, but this other stuff, it ain't happening. <laughs> it ain't happening. <laughs> yeah, no. And so oh, he said, wow. these are my best friends. Mm. Can we name our son? And so they played around with the names and finally came up with, they were some crazy names, but they found, finally came up with Tony Mac Romy. Mm. I said, I feel so sorry for my son. Mm. <laughs> but if you want Mac. to make that a second or a third name, so <laughs> be it. But on his birth certificate, we'll just write Yannick T. Cuso. But those fellows weren't having it because that meant we only showcased the one. And so as I, uh, about a month ago, both my husband and his best friend were hospitalized. Mm. My husband knew that his friend was in the hospital because we had gone to, to visit him. But his best friend didn't know that he was a floor under him in the hospital. Wow. And so my husband got to, to leave the hospital. But today, this morning, in a peaceful manner, mm-hmm. Nathan V. McCullough transitioned. So to all of you that loved him, all of the hundreds of kids that he taught you Kimpo Karate. For all of the people that he protected your homes, your livelihood, the clubs, Mm -hmm. from Whitney Houston to one of the recent, more recent rappers. um, What is his name? Rick? Um, My son calls him out uh, a a lot. I I can't think of it now, but he crossed the gamut Mm -hmm. when it came to supporting. I know he was also a friend of you and Tampa, Tampa Bay, Tammy. Absolutely. absolutely. For years, you could find them in Grace's place. (laughs) The whole pack. I can tell you right now, (laughs) for all these years, Cheryl, he's always been karate Mac to me. I, I never knew his his real name until you <laughs> said that so you know karate mac is 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 going to be missed yes he is by so many people he has he's just been a, a, a especially a fabric in tammy's life yes um you know in in the clubs in the entertainment yes. industry uh we've just been in the same environments in for a so lot many of years. so many years a <laughs> lot of occasions so karate mac you, you're going to be missed and I'm, I'm glad that the, your transition was peaceful. Yes, it was. Um, and, and we're just, we're going to miss you. We, we, we are. Be blessed. And so I wanted to, to make sure, and that's why, Mrs. Ms. B, I had to, to say thank you. But when I saw the fist, I was reminded of that fist that came towards me. But I was ready for it. And so, yes, Thanks we Thanks for will. sharing that story. It's the show. Catch the show. That's all up in your business. Today, it happens to be my business and my family's business. So to the N.V. McCullough family, your biological family, um, to all of your beautiful children, of which the youngest, Jasmine, is my husband's goddaughter. So as they reciprocated in exchanging of their love for the brotherhood and to have been there for our baby boy and he was actually the godfather of all of our children and so we say to you signing off as we sign off the air i say farewell rest in peace to our dear friend nathan v mccullough to my sensei who would say kia (laughs) kia signing off Thank you.